Uh, I speak about uh, column store indexing in SQL Server 2012. It's a new feature of SQL Server that's coming out uh, shortly. And it's a hot topic for somebody who does data warehousing, cubes, reporting, and wants to get, the, get their reports and processes to uh, function much faster. They need to know about column store indexing because it's a potential replacement or addition to uh, objects like cubes and data marts uh, because it's a way to make them run faster. It's a way to satisfy ad hoc reporting, ad hoc querying from users. It's a way uh, so that there's not so much dependency on current indexing processes and current, current uh, data models. Uh, it's a way to open it up so that user and users can actually query data and get fast response to it. The thing that people need to know is that column store indexes aren't right for every situation, and it, it takes a very particular situation to use them. They're not right for OLTP databases. They're not right for data that changes a lot. You, you have to use it uh, typically on data that changes maybe once a day. The indexes have to be rebuilt. Data's, uh, the data is read-only when the indexes are built. So there's a lot of gotchas and a lot of caveats uh, that, does, that makes it so that you can't use them all the time. Uh, mostly the performance. So what was the performance gain you're going to get by doing this? And that's really the key. If you're not going to get a performance gain, there's no reason to do it. That's, there's too many limitations otherwise. But if you get a really good performance gain, and that's what I showed in the demos, is performance gains with column store indexes and with traditional means, methods. And, and I showed how much of a gain you could get, sometimes 30 times uh, better performance using column store indexes. That a lot of people aren't really ready to take this on yet. Uh, first of all, you need to be in a SQL Server 2012 uh, environment, which it, it'll take a little while for uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, enterprises to upgrade to SQL Server 2012. And then they have to have the right uh, situations and the right models and good ETL to put it in place so that it, it functions the way we want it to function. This is one of the ones that ha has the, the, the most speakers with the best credentials in the area. There's also a great Microsoft keynote this morning. Um, there's a lot of networking. Uh, one of the things you do at SQL Saturday is you meet people, uh, you hand out your cards, uh, make a lot of great contacts. I always leave SQL Saturdays with, with uh, many more contacts than I started with.